Okay, uh, let's see how to uh, change the dimension of uh, an element or how to move, copy, delete or rotate an element. Uh, so, for example, let's choose this working wall. If I want to delete an element, I can use this tool or simply I select the element. I have to click on one of the black lines of the element and I press delete from the keyboard. Um, Okay, so uh, the tools, uh, you find the tools to move, copy or rotate an element here, okay? Or you can also open a, a rapid menu uh, with a click of the right button of the mouse. And here you will find the same tools, but this is more practice and it is quicker. Uh, okay, let's see how to change the, the dimension of, of an element, for example, of this wall unit. Uh, right click, I can click on scale element, one click on the element, just one click. Now, if I choose one of the black squares uh, on the corner, like this, with one click, I will change both the height and the length of the element. Right click. If I change, if I choose, for example, uh, this square, then I will change just the length of the element. Okay, let's choose this one. If I want uh, this element to be parallel to the cabinet here, I will click on the hooking point, this one. One click. In this way, the two elements will be on the same line, okay? Right click of the mouse. Um, always verify that you have activated hookup point, okay? In this way, all the time that you um, activate an option and click on the element, automatically these hooking points uh, will appear. Okay, right click. Um, there is uh, another way to, to change the dimension of, of an element uh, in this way. For example, if I want to change the dimension of the table, I can make a double click. In this way, I will see the properties of this element and here you find the length, the depth and the height of the element. So, very simply, I can change the dimension from here and press OK. Uh, okay, so we have two ways to change the dimension of an element. Uh, how to move an element? Um, for example, let's move this chair. Right click, move element. One click on the element. You don't have to keep pressed, okay, the mouse. Just one click on the element. Another click on one of the hooking points, for example, this one. I move uh, the element, here I have the orthogonal mode, so I can move it and I press again the, the left click, okay? Uh, but if I want to move uh, the element of a certain distance, then, uh, okay, uh, move element is already activated, so one click, another click, and now I enter from the keyboard the, the distance for example 400 and press OK. So now I've moved the, the chair of uh, 400 millimeters. Um, OK, if I want to move one element next to another element, for example this table next to this cabinet, then right click, move element, one click on the element. Now I will choose this hooking point, OK? I will deactivate the orthogonal mode and I will click on this hooking point. In this way, the two elements will be um, next to uh, each other. Okay, let's also move this chair here. Okay, uh, if I want to move um, two elements uh, at the same time, I just have to select the two elements, sorry, uh, one click and another click. In this case, I can't use the rapid menu because if I, if I make a right click, I will deactivate the selection. So in this case, I click here and then I choose one of the hooking point and I can move both the elements. 
in this way. Um, okay, right click. Uh, let's make another example. Uh, if I want to move this hood, uh, right click, move element, one click, another click, and I enter the orthogonal mode, and I can move it in this way. So let's click here, for example. Um, if I want uh, to move it of a certain distance, uh, I one click, another click, and I enter the distance, for example, 100, and press Enter. Uh, there is a third option, uh, right click, so I can make it, I double click on the element. Uh, here you have the dimensions of the element, and here you have the position of the element. X is the position from the left corner, uh, y is the distance from the wall, z is the distance from the ground, so I could also change this value. In this way, my hood will be at um, 1500 millimeters from the ground. Okay, so here you have three ways. Um, okay, how to copy an element? So, for example, I want to copy this chair right click, copy element, one click on the chair, one click on a hooking point, I deactivate the orthogonal mode and I move it here with a click, okay? Right click. Um, and now, how to rotate an element? We can also see uh, the project in the 3D view. Uh, very simply, double click on the chair, I click on rotation around the center and I move this bar. You can also see the movement in the 3D window, okay, in this way, okay. Or I can also enter the, the angle, for example, if I want to rotate this table, double click, rotation around the center, now it is um, uh, minus 90, I can put it at zero, okay? In this way, uh, I have a rotation of uh, 90 degrees. Okay, now let's move our chairs in the right position and let's go right-click and let's go uh, to the next step.